Hi everyone, welcome back. I want to apologize for not getting videos out to you faster, but I promise you I've been doing the absolute best that I can. It was a super late night, an early morning. Lily has not been agreeable, but you know what? I'm doing what I can and we're having so much fun here in Atlanta. Bringing Lily to the prelims was just such a blast. People love seeing her, she was loving it, so this is the video where I'm going to talk about my top favorites in the swimsuit competition. So if you haven't already seen it, I did share a video about the top performances or who I thought were the top performances at the preliminary competition last night. And I do want to say as well that what we saw in real life is just a little bit different than what you see in the live stream, just in the sense of like the energy that you get from the girls when you're there, from the crowd, and things look different in in real life than they do online in the sense of like some of the turns and stuff I've now seen some of the online videos and it just it's just different in real in person and so I guess that's kind of made me realize as well that sometimes when we're so like shocked that certain girls didn't make it into the semi-finals it now is making more sense than ever to me even though I've been a competitor even though I know how important the interview is seeing the competition the prelim competition right there in front of me has helped make sense of why there's some girls who don't make it anyways my favorites are a little bit different than those that i've seen on youtube let's just delve right into it i just wanted to give that disclaimer because i always feel like i need to explain kind of a little bit more of like my reasoning and stuff so people know where i'm coming from so first off i have albania i talked about her in my favorite performances from last night and she just did not disappoint i was thinking that albania might be one of the girls who was really hyped up a lot and then didn't quite like reach that expectation that everyone had but she's totally exceeded it sorry for the sirens there's a lot of sirens here she totally has exceeded the expectations that have been set out for her i thought she was incredible in the swimsuit competition one of my absolute favorites then i have bangladesh and bangladesh was actually wearing active wear but i just thought she was so beautiful she came out i felt like she captured the attention from the crowd and she's just so facially stunning that you just couldn't help but watch her see her and notice her then i have miss belgium i didn't have miss belgium in my overall favorites uh last night for the my top 20 in the preliminary performance just because I didn't feel like her evening gown was as strong, but I loved her in swimsuit. I have Brazil. Brazil is just so amazing inside and out. She did not disappoint in the swimsuit competition. She was killing it. She had a lot of crazy fans, but I feel like we're hyping her up in the crowd and she just looked absolutely incredible. We were trying to see the judges as well. Every time the girls would come out, Paulina Vega was a judge, uh, Olivia Jordan, Cezanne Hendricks. I can't remember the names of the other two. Kara, uh, I think she was a Miss America. And then there was one other woman, one other or two other, and I was trying to like see their reactions and when Brazil came out, they all seemed to be like in awe. So Brazil, you killed it as usual. Next on my list here is Miss Colombia. Colombia is just impeccable in swimsuit. I thought she was one of the best. She captured the crowd's attention and people were like ooing and aahing over her and she completely deserved the attention she was getting. Then we have Miss France. As you guys know, a bunch of the girls fell because the stage was slippery, there was stuff on the stage, I don't know what the hell was going on, but France fell, but you know what? She recovered super well, she looked amazing, she just gave a beautiful performance. She is even more beautiful in real life than you saw on the telecast screen. She's stunning, I love her, I really hope she makes it into the semifinals. Then we have Miss India. I really hope that India gives a bit more energy on the final night, but I thought she was beautiful in swimsuit. She was one of my favorites in the swimsuit for sure. She looked just so beautiful. She's so striking, so gorgeous, and I loved her. Miss Indonesia. I thought Miss Indonesia was one of the best. She, she as well fell. I just, I can't believe. We kept actually looking at Catriona and Nick, the hosts, of course, and every time the girls were like reaching that one slippery spot, they were both like mouthing like, oh my God, oh my God, like is she gonna fall? And Indonesia fell, but again, she recovered super well. And I feel like when you'd be surprised with how supportive the crowd is, like everyone was like getting up and cheering the girls on because when you are backstage and Catriona actually said this, that is the one thing you hope isn't gonna happen. Like you are backstage hoping you're not gonna fall in front of all the people who are there and the thousands, millions of people watching online. These girls, they recovered so well. There wasn't a single girl who looked like it impacted her. Like they got up, they smiled, they waved and they carried on. And honestly, by being able to recover from that with such grace is probably gonna get them some bonus points. Next on my list here, I have Miss 
Kenya. One of the absolute biggest, happiest surprises for me was Miss Kenya. I said this in my video last night, but I literally had goosebumps when she came out in swimsuit. She is like a jaw dropping beauty. Like I could see her with the Miss Universe crown just based on her facial beauty alone. The beauty in real life is just unbelievable. She's just like none other. She's absolutely gorgeous. And she, I thought was one of the best for sure in swimsuit. I have Nepal. Nepal for me was a happy surprise in that she just killed it in swimsuit. She rocked it. She did a great turn. She was capturing the attention of the crowd of the judges and she just was impeccable for me. Then I have Miss Netherlands. Miss Netherlands was another favorite for me. She was a little bit more of like the soft, sexy look, but she was amazing. Peru. Peru, I coming into the competition, I had like Peru up and down with like my personal favorites and she did not disappoint in Real life she is just absolutely striking gorgeous rue she's just a standout for me and i would love to see her in the semifinals next up is miss philippines what i love about miss philippines is i feel like she is curvy in all the right places not like i don't want that to sound like a bad thing because i don't mean it in like a bad way she was just rocking everything that she has on that stage and capturing the attention of the crowd the judges she has something special about her like i told you guys in my couple of videos ago when she walked by us when she was going into her interview there's just something about her that you are like wow puerto rico puerto rico i thought was absolutely beautiful her posing was great i really hope she makes it into the semifinals, but i feel like there could be a chance she might be one of those girls who is an absolute favorite and may not make it into the semifinals, or she could rise all the way to the top five like who knows south africa south africa for me is a very heavy favorite because i thought she was beautiful and swim i'll talk about her in the evening gown video coming up next but i thought she was just amazing tanzania to me tanzania was having the time of her life out there she looked like she was having so much fun she is just I mean, they're all gorgeous, but she was really shining last night. Then I have Miss Thailand. I didn't have Thailand in my overall favorites last night because I just didn't feel like she gave as strong as a, of a performance as she did at Miss Thailand, honestly. That's just my honest opinion. I thought she looked beautiful, but I think maybe she was too serious or something. Like, I just wasn't getting that it factor, wow factor that I was expecting to see from her. USA. USA has these insane abs. Like, her body is incredible. I mean, all the girls have beautiful bodies but just in terms of like the actual like definition that USA has it is insane then I have Miss Venezuela for me Miss Venezuela was one of the happy surprises I talked about her in my pre-arrival favorites actually and I felt like she was going to come out and shine in the preliminary competition and she did I thought she gave a beautiful performance her walk was captivating and I really feel like the audience was resonating with her and then last in my 20 favorites here I have Miss Vietnam Miss Vietnam is just one of my personal favorites I feel like when she comes out she is just you you just the attention is drawn to her and to me she is just she's an incredible woman inside and out she has the physical beauty i just i absolutely love vietnam so those are my 20 favorites and i'll just narrow it down to 10 because as far as i know they're is going to be a top 20 and the top 20 is going to be asked a question by steve harvey they're going to give some kind of personal statement and then they're going down to 10 and then the top 10 will go in evening gown and swimsuit and then from the top 10 it's going to be a top five so i wanted to just give like a quick 10 a quick favorite 10 from that 20 list and those 10 in swimsuit specifically are albania brazil colombia france kenya peru Philippines, Puerto Rico, USA, and Vietnam. So these were the 10 girls who I felt like were just giving that extra wow factor in the swimsuit. And again, like I said, in real life, it was different than seeing online. Oh, you know, okay, one girl who I also was really loving um, was Chile, but oh, it's just, it's so hard. The Chile was also in my favorites, but here are some other girls that were giving me the wow factor, but I just, I wanted to keep it to 20. So the other girls that were also standing out to me was Ireland, Malaysia, she fell, but she recovered beautifully. Mexico, El Salvador, Australia, she's very beautiful, and China. So these were some of the other girls standing out to me, as I said, Chile as well. And I know Ireland, you guys, I had her at the top of my list on my pre-arrival favorites. I actually... I've seen Ireland on the top of people's list for the swimsuit competition, but there was just something in real life about the energy thing I've talked about. And I really, it's just something with the way that the audience resonates, that the judges seem to resonate. And you know what, again, she may rise all the way to the top, be in the top five, she could win the crown, like I'm not sure. So I'm gonna keep that 
try to keep it as short as possible. I know that I like to keep my videos fairly short because I feel like they're easier to watch. So that is my favorite 20 in swimsuit from the preliminary competition. Up next, I'm going to be filming my favorite 20 or top 20 from the evening gown competition. So if you want to see that video, you can subscribe, hit the notifications bell and be notified when that video comes out. And you guys let me know who is your favorite in the swimsuit competition and maybe give me a reason why. What made them stand out to you? What made them shine? How were they glowing? And I'll see you guys in the next video.